The old quarters of Homs and its surrounding neighborhoods are the last rebel strongholds in the city. Some 1,000 fighters are inside, but for months they have been under siege. Now they may be given safe passage out as part of a deal with the government. The rebels will reportedly retreat to the northern countryside of the city, but those areas are also under siege. The deal would allow the state to regain control of a city known as the capital of the revolution. Now it is impossible to take back the city. We were so hungry. We couldn't even walk 100 meters. I used to weigh 73 kilos. Now I weigh 53 kilos. This 24-year-old arrived in Istanbul a few days ago. He said the bombardment and the government siege on rebel-held areas forced neighborhoods to surrender one after another. In early 2012, the regime began its campaign to retake lost territory in the city. The neighborhood of Beb Amr came under one of the government's most intense assaults during this war. Activists like Khaled Abu Salah appealed for help when international observers visited the rebel areas at the time. But the world didn't act. For Khaled, Beb Amr was a symbol of defiance. When the rebels lost it, he left. <laughs> At first I thought we would return, then the situation got worse. We didn't lose Homs today, we lost Homs over a year ago when the regime sieged the city. It is not just a symbolic city, it is strategically located. The corridor linking Damascus to the government strongholds along the coast passes through Homs. Both the regime and the opposition know they cannot control the whole country. So the regime is concentrating on retaking strategic territory. It's part of their plan to partition the country. Once the rebels withdraw from neighborhoods in the historic center, Homs city will no longer be divided by front lines. The rebels may lose what they call the heart of the revolution, but the war is still not over. Zanakhudr Al Jazeera, Istanbul.